And welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Heather Childers along with Bob Sellers. Uh, the hearing on Capitol Hill before the Energy and Commerce Committee yesterday was called fanning the flames as Democrats tried to make the case that news outlets like Newsmax are spreading disinformation and should be pulled from the airwaves. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham joined Greg Kelly Reports here on Newsmax to share his thoughts on the hearing. Listen. Well, the one thing I want you to know that you and your listeners are going nowhere. This is an effort by a couple of Democrats who are polit seeking publicity and destroying America as we know it at the same time. Can you imagine if I wrote a letter to somebody saying MSNBC and CNN needs to go because they spread disinformation? I wouldn't worry about it. It's going nowhere. You're in good shape. Uh, your audience is growing and you've got a lot of people who have your back. I promise you that this is not going to happen. It's a couple of Democrats uh, trying to, you know, be the liberal hero for 15 minutes and it will pass. Joe, I'll start with you, you know, trying to pressure private companies to block conservative voices. Well, you guys aren't doing it right at Newsmax. You're supposed to say that the president never visited Steve Scalise when he was in the hospital. You're supposed to say that everybody gathered around second base, all the Democrats did, but the Republicans didn't join in. You're supposed to just lie. You're not supposed to tell the real news. I mean, you guys should be more like CNN, who, by the way, I saw two headlines on CNN today when I was at the gym. One was Marjorie Taylor Greene attacks colleague's child, which she didn't do. She put up a sign that said, um, there are two genders, follow the science, or trust the science. Uh, the second one said, Marjorie Taylor Greene, amongst the mob at the Capitol on, on January 6th. If you're CNN or MSNBC or CNBC or ABC, CBS, NBC, you can do no wrong. And we know that they've done a lot of fake news that you and I have had to correct. So you guys just stay the road. What you guys are doing is actually real news. And then you've got real commentary from all sides. This attack is just stupid. I kind of like it, though. Can I tell you that? The reason why I like it is it's going gonna, it's gonna to backlash on them so badly. This is not going to work. The American people know they've got other choices. They can turn the channel in a free society and not watch you guys if they don't want to, not listen to Stacey or me or to Jenny Beth if they don't want to. But if they want to, they should have that choice, that free, liberated choice to do so. It's really kind of that simple, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it should be that simple. Uh, but apparently for some folks, they think that it isn't. Uh, Jenny Beth, you're going to be down there at CPAC, or you are. Uh, no doubt censorship of, of uh, conservative voices will be a big topic. Um, I'm sure that it will be a big topic. And I, I, I'm so disturbed by what these Democrats are doing in the House and, and the Senate, both trying to, to insinuate and imply that you and, and other networks that, that are on the air do not need to be on the air simply because they don't agree with the things that you say. How are we supposed to have a free expression of idea? How are we supposed to debate things and figure out what is correct and what is is not not correct if we don't have a little bit of friction between ideas are we supposed to just go to to congress and go go to the democrats on high and ask them what we're supposed to think what we're supposed to say and what we're supposed to believe it is outrageous and the fact that that senator lindsey graham is getting on the network last night and assuring people and assuring you guys that you're not going away that is so against what the First Amendment is about. We have free speech. We have free press. We are supposed to be able to petition the government for a redress of our grievances. And we are supposed to be able to assemble and to worship in this country. And they cannot continue to attack the First Amendment this way. And all of us across the, this country have to stand up for the First Amendment. And believe me, I will be doing that on your behalf. Yeah, and you bring up a valid point, and this was brought up throughout the hearing yesterday, Stacey. You know, who is the arbiter of truth? Who then makes the decisions as to what is a lie, what is disinformation, or what is just someone that is uninformed? Who makes those decisions? And apparently Democrats would have them make those decisions for us. Well, uh, to borrow some terminology from my time on active duty in the military where I shot marksmen, you guys are getting flack because you're over the target. So it's a great place to be. It means you're having a huge impact. When people fear you so much that they want to stop you from speaking, you know you're making a difference. And I see that all the time. When I'm on this channel, I get my email box. People are in there saying, thank you for speaking the truth. Thank you for going on Newsmax, which is my new favorite channel. Thank <laughs> you for uh, just having a conversation that made sense to me. It's so different from when I watch CNN or MSNBC. 
But there's another point to be made here, and that is that you actually can't shut down speech. Who is the arbiter of truth? For me, it's Jesus Christ. I go by what the Bible says. I, I cross-reference all of these things from the Republican Party platforms to what I see people saying on television every day. I cross-reference it there, and then I go by what feels right when it passes the smell test. I'm talking about the way we live. The things they're trying to pass through Congress, H.R. 127, H.R. 5, these things don't pass the smell test because they don't work with how we live. Mm -hmm. So for, for me, seeing Newsmax, where I just literally, we bought a smart television, a big one, my husband was involved, <laughs> and now I just hit the button, and my first choice is, I got Amazon Prime, I have all the other choices I had before, but I have a little Newsmax button that looks just like the app I have on my phone. I click it and there's Heather and Bob. There's, that. you know, there's Sean Spicer. So yeah. that's why they're hitting you. My encouragement to the people of Newsmax all day and all night is keep doing what you're doing. We need this in America. We need more than one channel that speaks the truth. And I'm just so glad that I get to join you guys and have these conversations, but I'm even more glad that Americans are realizing what a gem this channel is and that the Democrats are now afraid of you. Kudos. Uh, right. And um, Bob, that is one of our guests yesterday uh, said, I, I think it was Alan Dershowitz, that uh, the solution for bad speech is more speech more and more speech. diverse speech. Yes. And what bothers me about what they're doing the most, I think, is I think they're smart enough. They, they went to college, because I was looking up the backgrounds of the, the two people who, who brought this letter uh, and, and created this moment, if you will, and one of them has a PhD, okay? These are smart people. They can read the Constitution and know they can't change it, but what they may be trying to do is intimidate people, intimidate the networks, intimidate the, the, cable, st the cable companies that carry us, right. uh, intimidate sponsors. Um, so they're doing this knowing full well they themselves cannot directly write legislation to change any of this, but they can hint at there may be repercussions to others. Mm -hmm. and, and that's yes, what could, could I have 10 seconds on this, yeah. if you don't mind? Stacey, they want Stacey off the air. They want me off the air. They want us to shut up. They want the Fairness Doctrine back. And since Rush Limbaugh died, they think they're not going to have any blowback when they say stupid things like this. They were afraid of his voice because of his reach, and his reach was immense. We're not going anywhere. You guys aren't going anywhere. And, and Stacey's right. The arbiter of the truth is Jesus. And I hadn't heard Jesus chime in on this one. So I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> But I did like hearing that, for sure. All right, panel, hang tight. We're not quite done yet. Uh, the PC police have claimed two more victims. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head have been canceled in favor of a gender-neutral spud. We're not joking. Yeah. Up next, yeah, on American Agenda. <laughs>